Hi everyone! So earlier today I was out shopping and I happened to find a couple of items that I'd never seen before which are Sonic related and I thought they were pretty cool um, even though one of them is pretty strange and I decided to pick them up. Um, first of all we've got this. Now if you haven't seen one of these before this is actually a Sonic the Hedgehog marshmallows tin. Uh, what it is is inside here are some marshmallows that you can eat but I mainly got this just for the tin. I, I just kind of like the tin and I just wanted it as something to put in my collection. But um, let's take a look at the marshmallows anyway. Um, on the back there's a little sonic head and it says Marshmallows with a strawberry flavoured jelly center. My god that sounds disgusting. Um, okay let's take a look inside. Maybe the marshmallows aren't that bad. Yeah I pretty cut it off because it's gone pretty tight. Uh, back it just says copyright Sega, lots and lots of glue, and the best before date. Oh dear. Okay, um, these are the strawberry flavoured marshmallows. And they look disgusting. These, oh my goodness, these, these are horrible. Um, you know what they remind me of? You know when, you, um, when you're walking down the street or you might be waiting at a bus stop, usually there's somebody smoking and they will throw the cigarette on the ground and they'll stamp on it and then there's like this tiny, tiny bit of white that's left on the ground where they've stomped on it. That's what these look like. These look like the end of cigarettes. They, they just look horrible. Um, I'm definitely not eating those, but I'm still happy because I've got the tin. Hooray! Okay, um, this next thing. Now, you are going to swear that I have deliberately rigged this up. I haven't. The only thing I did was I cut away some of the sellotape so I wouldn't be messing about with it on camera. This is genuinely how this looked when I bought it in the store. Say hello to the Sonic the Hedgehog money box. Yeah, oh, well, oh, brilliant. That's a perfect example of what I'm about to say next. This has to be one of the worst examples of merchandise packaging I've ever seen. I don't own anything that's this bad in terms of packaging. Um, to give you an idea of how bad this is, you can probably see um, just here there's a bit of tape. The store that I got this from was actually putting sellotape on the boxes to try and keep them closed because they were just bursting open everywhere. And um, yeah, as you can see, um, mine fortunately has the coins. Um, they're supposed to be all lined up in here, I'm guessing, but they're just all over the place. Some of them didn't even have any coins. They were just, they're, they're, the boxes are just burst open. Others only had about two or one in them. This was the, I think this was, actually this was the only one that actually had um, more than two coins in. So anyway, um, lesson here is the packaging is dreadful. It is really, really bad. But anyway, let's take a look at the actual um, piece of the merch that's in it. Um, yeah, oh, very quickly, chocolate coins, um, nothing special. It's just decorated similar to what the UK currency is. Nothing Sonic related there. Um, Alright, let's look at the cardboard bit first. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, money bank, with milk chocolate coins, hooray! Some rings, I've got Sonic, and save with Sonic. So you've been told. And the back of the packaging is just ingredients that go in the chocolate. Uh, this is 100% recy recyclable packaging. Yes, marvellous. And it is a, oh, it's a ceramic statue, according to that. Wow, well, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look at Ceramic Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, um, okay, the first thing, let's point out the obvious. He's been on the sunbed. Yeah, um, this is a very, very dark blue. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with your, well, I hope there's nothing wrong with your screen, but this is genuinely how dark this blue is. It's incredibly dark. I don't know if I could compare it to this tin. You might be able to see that, but in 
it here in real life with me right now, this is an amazingly dark blue Sonic. I've never seen, I don't think I own anything like this. In fact, I've never seen anything that is this dark blue that's official. And yeah, it is official. Um, Sega's logo and Kinaton, uh, www.kinaton.com. There's the bung, obviously, where you take the money out. Can I get it open? Oh god, that's really jammed on. I could probably do this really easy with two if I wasn't trying to film it as well, but yeah, that's pretty that was pretty well on. Um So yeah, I guess that's kind of good that your money isn't gonna fall out easy. Oh that's fun. How do you get it back in? <laughs> well that's that's just absolutely perfect. That's that's just brilliant. Okay, so the bong isn't that great, but anyway, let's have a look at the statue. Um, yeah, as already mentioned, it's a very dark blue, and his um, face, chest and arms, they're also, whilst they're coloured correctly, they're still pretty dark for what they're used to. Um, it is modern Sonic, because obviously green eyes, but um, we don't really, I don't particularly care if it's modern or classic, I just like Sonic stuff. Um, the years are, well, they're... Again, it's pretty dark, but I, I do like the effort that's gone into this. I like the fact that all the spikes are um, are there, and it's not just you know, not just like a carved thing with maybe three spikes, but there is a bit of you know depth to this. It's pretty cool. I do like this, um, even though obviously the colouring's a bit of an issue, but the paint job's not that bad. Um, it's relatively well done. You know, there's nothing. There's nothing like any splodges or blobs going over, you know, it's all within the lines. The only problem is it's just the wrong colour. If it was um if it was a bit lighter maybe it would be it would be brilliant. But I guess for a display piece this is pretty cool and yeah if you want to use it as a money box you can do but the bong is a bit rubbish. So yeah that will probably be sitting on a shelf in my room just sort of looking out. It's a pretty cool piece. I mean it is you know it's pretty hard, it's well made. Um, I definitely give this a shot. It's not very expensive at all, and you also get chocolate with it. So, yeah, hooray! Um, yeah, I I'm I'm pretty happy with this, but obviously the color is a bit of an issue, and it does kind of look a bit funny if you stare at it for a while. And uh, I guess there is a bit of paint missing just there, but it depends what angle you look at it at. I think it's kind of cool, even if it is just a little bit ugly. Yeah. Okay then, um, I guess that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching guys, um, hope you liked it. Comment, rate, subscribe and feel free to send me a friend request as well. Hope to see you next time, goodbye.